Hey everyone, hope all of you are doing great. So in the last video, we had learned everything about the Compass, how you can write manual data in your cloud database, how you can connect Compass with the cloud servers. We have done all the advanced and basic configuration for accessing the database. In this video, we're going to actually connect the cloud server to our API. Okay, so we do need to switch back and forth. Okay, so let's connect the API with the cloud servers. So to do that, all we have to do is to come back to this database development. And here we have to click on this connect. And here you will find the same option. But this time the option we are interested in is this connect to your application and here you make sure you have to choose the version so right now we are using node.js for building the backend but here you have multiple options you can go with that php whatever you want but i will go with the node.js and you should go with the node.js because this is what we have and from here you have to cho choose the latest version so always go, go with the latest one and once you select that here you will find this important string okay and this is the string we need to connect with the database simply copy that okay and simply closure and now we're going to use this string in our dot env file because this is a sensitive data we don't need to share like this okay so we're going to simply paste here so we'll say database base the url okay so this is the string for our database and now we have to type the password as well so we'll say in database dash password and here i'm going to type the password of my database so again, I'm showing you, but I'm going to delete this one once we complete the tutorial. Okay. And there is a, this is a general convention for adding the environment variable. So it should be in capital letter. And when you have two words, you have to provide this space like this. Okay. So this is a general convention. And the reason why I'm having this environment variable in a, this beautiful coloring, because I have installed this dot envil extension and that's giving me this style. Okay. So make sure you install that extension. But if you don't install it will work in the same way okay so that's looking fine and here we have to do the changes so here we're going to replace this with the capital password okay so you can do one thing you can simply paste the exact password right up here but i just try to keep the password and the string separately okay so what i will do i'm going to convert this in a small to capital okay simply change this to p a s s password so that's the password we have a string let's remove this one looking fine and here we have to name give the name of our database okay so let's remove this somehow i deleted that so let me write this password okay and here i have to give the name of the database so i told you that you have to remember the name of the database and that's the name we're going to give here so the name is my nf my database is nft marketplace in the capital okay so this is the name i have given to my database make sure you should give your database name so that's the only setup we have to do in this .env file. Okay, that's looking absolutely perfect. Now close this one and that's we're going to do in the server.js file. So let's come here. But before we do that, we need to install Mongoose. Okay, because we have all the setup, but we don't have the important npm package which allow us to do all those things. So let's install Mongoose first. So simply open up your terminal and here we're going to install that clear terminal and will type npm i mongoose and make sure the version i'm using you have to install the same version so 5.5.2 so this is the version you have to use if you install any other version you might the code we have written might not work okay you might fail to connect the with the database okay so make sure this is the version you should use and this is the version i use at the time of recording okay so go with this one so this is the stable version we have right now and simply hit enter to install the package you can see it's loading 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 and just wait a moment and here finally we have successfully installed the mongoose package here okay this is the package we have and mongoose is really powerful it has a lot of methods and the entire application the data modeling the security part that's all we're going to do with this mongoose okay so that's the very important package and make sure again i'm telling you install this this version which i'm using in this project so that's the version we have here now let's clear the terminal and now things are looking good simply come here go to this server file and here we go to make the connection with our database cloud server okay with the atlas so let's make the connection here so before we do that we have to install the mongoose sorry require the mongoose we're going to call this mongoose and we'll come here here we're going to take a variable called db okay stand for database and here we're going to create the string okay so we have the process.env in that we have the string of the 
database okay database so we'll pass this database and in this database we are going to call this replace method because we want to replace this password with the actual password okay you can do it directly but i like to do it in this way and here i'm going to pass this simple this one because this is what i want to replace with the actual password and the password we have in this process.env and this is the password simply paste here okay so you can see this is the general convention is actually a setup to connecting with the database okay nothing with the logic okay so that's how we are replacing the password with the actual password in the string database database string so that's what we have here and now we'll come down we'll call this mongoose and we'll call this connect method in that we're going to pass this database and here we're going to use this methods which is there in the mongoose okay so just write the way i'm writing okay it's a general convention which you have to follow so use create index is true use find and modify is false and use new url parse true okay so nothing related with the api it's just a general convention which you have to do to connect with the database and then it will return us a promise then we want to resolve that promise to get the data so we'll say console and we want to simply console log out this connection they con and in that we have this connection property okay so the response will get in the form of promise so we have to resolve the promise so we can access the data which is available in this variable con variable and we'll try to access the data of this connection okay so that what we have and now let me do one thing let me simply console log out that database successfully connected successfully okay so if this runs that means our database is successfully connected so that's the basic settings we have to do make sure you do that and now what we can do we're going to simply here we have this dot env file simply cut here and we have to paste on top so we can easily able to access it okay so paste right up here remove that dot and now we can easily able to read this variable from our config file now we have to check okay so let's start that development server okay so npm start and you can see here we got the object back so we have successfully connected with the database you can see the name admin the host the port and the user the passwords that's all you can able to find so we have successfully connected with the cloud database you can see all these methods we are have on this and we can easily able to use it okay so what i want to do i don't want to log out the entire connection so i will simply comment this out and i want to simply log the this message database success connection successfully because we want to check if it not print in our terminal that's mean the connection is failed so we have to reconnect it okay so let's come here and come back to this and simply do one thing click on this connections and simply retrieve the data and right now you can see right now we have these two demo data simply going to delete this one okay because now we're going to create all the nfts all the data from the code so let's paste here to delete and click on drop and we have successfully deleted that so right now we have this clean environment in our database so i hope you guys know that how you can connect your application with the atlas cloud a cloud server so that's the only thing i want to cover in this video hope you guys have learned something new that how you can connect it and it's really powerful when i did for the very first time i was really excited and that's the only thing i want to cover in this video so in the next video we'll start working and creating nft demo nft from the code okay not manually in the compass but from the code and that will be deployed to the database so with that now let's move to the next video see you there